Charlie Cushane here to do another unique video. This time, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put these tall artificial trees in some pots and how I'm gonna fix it in a different kind of way. So stay tuned. Okay, what we have here is an artificial tree with that came in a basket, woven basket with this styrofoam in it. And I can't get this off, it's stuck on. And you can see it's really loose in this heavy cast flower pot. What I wanna do is stick this in and fill around with an expanding kind of foam that gets rigid. The first thing we have to do is take off all of this fake grass. We can put that back on later. Okay, before I put the plants in the pot, I mean, there is a weep hole here and these are gonna be out of my lanai, so water may get in. So what I wanna do is I don't want water to get in and soak everything. I'm gonna take a trash bag and push it in here, fold it over the edge, take out as much as I can. There we go. There we go. Then my plan is I'm gonna put the plant in here Fill it with that expanding foam, and when it's all done, I'm going to take this excess that's on the outside, I'm going to wrap it up and around the tree with a zip tie, and that'll totally make it waterproof, and then I'll put the grass on top of that so that I don't have to worry about anything getting soaking wet. I went into my local hardware store and asked them about expanding foams, and there's some that fill big gaps but they couldn't tell me if it gets really hard, which is what I want, something very rigid so the plant won't tip over or loosen up when the wind blows. So, I'm gonna try something new. The Sika Post Fix. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's for really setting mailbox posts, fences, um, all kinds of things. You put it around the fence post and it expands. It comes in a bag with two parts you break the middle seam and mix it together and you have 15 seconds. You pour it in the post, it expands and hardens. So we're gonna try this and hopefully it'll work out great. The trick with this Sika Post Fix is you have to, you got 15 seconds once it's mixed. You cut the corner off the bag. He's cut the corner off. There's a seam right here that's keeping these two pouches separated. They say you roll it until it bursts, then you got 15 seconds. Here we go. Okay, it burst. 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6 1,000, 7 1,000, 8 1,000, 9 1,000, 10 1,000, 11 1,000, 12 1,000, 13 1,000, 14 1,000, 15 1,000. They say don't go too long, or it'll start expanding in the bag. Okay, and there's a little left. This is why I have the cardboard box. Perfect. Hope it didn't fit to the back of the bag. It doesn't appear to have. Now I gotta cut this off.
There we go. A little more cleaning up and it'll be ready to go. Okay, time to do a little finishing on this project. First thing we want to do, bring this up. Pull it tight. Put a zip tie around it. Cut off the excess. There we go. Okay, lift it up. Here we go. There we go. Looks great. The two of them. Now it's time to take them outside and put them under the knife. And here's the final resting spot beside the hot tub. Here we go. Perfect. Looks great.